When I first wanted to live in an old house, I thought it was all about the house and I wanted the oldest house possible and I wanted it to be perfect. And then in the end I got to thinking like, well, what if I got it all perfect? I'm just going to sit in the room and then that's it and just look around. Uh, so I've evolved into the practical side and just living like, like the past basically. Well, this is our Engawa, translates as a balcony. We've got quite a beautiful garden going here. You can tell we're in an old house because the floorboards are stretching from you to the toilet door. So that's like, how many meters is that? It's quite, quite long. Uh, don't have cats. <laughs> <laughs> and all toilets in Japan, they lock from the outside. That's kind of strange. <laughs> yeah, I mean, our philosophy for this house is just recycle everything. There's just so much wood you can reuse. These panels are old. It's like a mix of old planks and uh, old chests. And the barrel, yeah, that was in the in the storehouse. I think it was for shoyu soy sauce before. I thought that'd make a perfect stand. <laughs> yeah, one of the things that attracted me to this house is these amazing old beams that were hand cut back in the day. Persimmon stain. Kakishibu, probably Bengara, but like generations of it layered on top, so it's got really nice condition. That'll keep the insects away. Uh, the good way to test wood is that my carpenter's always doing, doing this. That's pretty healthy. So how much was this first house of yours? This one, 80, it's a lucky number really, 88, 880,000, Hachiju Hachiman. So it's eight thousand dollars at the time. This was one of the first houses built in the valley, 1870 something, 145 years. So they were tea farmers, tea and rice. Yeah, and we really get missed. Sometimes you get like you can't see that that field. It's like rolls in. It's an amazing atmosphere. I love it when it snows as well. We get. It goes to about minus 12, so it's quite cold in winter. A bit cold inside. <laughs> so it, it's about minus 5 inside if it's minus 12 outside. <laughs> From the Yorkshire. <laughs> Love the cold. Well, there's no insects, which helps. And you're too busy chopping wood, you don't get cold. God, I've never done so much chopping of logs. Yep, yeah, I got chestnut, ume, plum wood. Sakura. Sakura is really good for the wood fire uh, and also good to smoke fish with and it, all for free because I help do forest maintenance at, the, at a, a park in town. Our dishwashing water, any water just comes out and goes in these drains. So you, you really have to live a natural life in these houses because any pollutant just goes into nature. When you watch Japanese TV, it's brainwashing, selling you, uh, you know, like dishwashing liquid or shampoo or anything, all these things you'd, we don't use, I haven't used. We wash our hair in baking soda. You can actually date certain renovations to this house because this wall here, when I was, I pulled off some plywood, I don't know what, and then under it was like newspaper from the Sino-Japanese War, 1937. So it's all these guys with guns, <laughs> prisoners of war. And looking around at this house, the dust and natural dirt, you'd think maybe you'd get ill. I've never been healthier. I used to get asthma in Fukuoka City. Fine here. Oh, we got these stairs for free. I think it was like an hour's drive to get it. We got, in fact, we got three sets of stairs in one go. <laughs> so we've got the storehouse, the barn, and here we've got three stairs. But you got to be careful climbing them because I fell down once. When we got the house, this was up until the stairs. This was an enclosed, separate room with plywood covering the whole ceiling. So we took down everything and got nice, uh, exposed this beautiful blackened wood roof. And, and all my clothes, I don't buy and bought clothes for years. 
and we, we acquired clothes in the big chests from like hundreds of years ago so I've got clothes for the rest of my life now. I think these were an old lady's. We've acquired over the years so many of these, Na Nagamochi it's called, so it's a storage chest and made of, it's made of either pine or hinoki I think. So it's sterilizing so whatever you store inside it will stay intact for hundreds of years. Amazing what you find in these chests. So I was just rummaging, I found, I thought, oh, some old newspapers, maybe I can light the stove with them. And they're from 1945. It's like the entire history, or I should say propaganda, of World War II. Uh, so it's kind of an interesting read. I think government, 1955, they brought out a law that Cominka are old-fashioned, out-of-date architecture. And everyone should live in Danchi, these concrete apartments. <laughs> They totally said that they're dangerous to live in, uh, unfit <laughs> for, for humans. I didn't buy it because it's beautiful, because <laughs> it's not. We saw it as a project, and I mean it's in nature, and I could, just to learn all the traditional techniques which we can apply on any house. If you see every wall here we rebuilt, nat natural walls. And I learnt from our carpenter all about Tsuchikabe, the natural, natural earthen walls made from uh, bamboo lattice work frame. And, and then you just paste the earth mixed with rice straw onto it. For me, it's important what goes in, in my lungs. Uh, I don't use air conditioning. Uh, so in summer, these walls, they, they breathe, they absorb the humidity and then release it. This wall's about, it's about an inch thick in total. That's thick enough. The storehouse I really like. This is 120 years and it's actually dated. We've only just started renovating this Kura storehouse. We don't have any walls. We, we added another Hashira here to reinforce the building because it was is rotten. And then we built this Hisashi small roof to deflect rain so it doesn't go inside and uh, we use wood from the temple recycled it this long circular piece it's from the temple all the all the roof tiles are recycled you can glamorize it i can post some beautiful photos and especially on my personal page people will go wow look at this it's not easy it's quite hardcore where it's bugs and snakes danger and flooding and landslides and earthquakes uh, so you can get this beautiful house and you might lose it overnight so you have to have an open mind for me an open mind to losing everything <laughs>